So guys, let's do exercise number four for refrigerants diagrams. If we were to hit the last point, if you remember last point was here. If no, please go to exercise three or even exercise number two. And you have the same pressure, but you're going to change that temperature until it reaches 160 Celsius. Please tell me what it is. Are we going to have a superheat vapor? what enthalpy is going to have, and so on. I want to know the point on the diagram. So, once again, this is the isobaric line because we are working with the same pressure. We're going to have a change of temperature. So, the only way we are able to change the temperature is by making it a vapor and then heating it. So, let's do it. Let's heat it. And you will see that if you wanted to follow this line, and then you are still because it's it's a baric, sorry, because it's it's a baric process, guys. The value must lie in this line here. You cannot change it up or go down because many probably you're going to say why I don't follow this line, or why I don't follow this line, or why I don't follow this curve. Well, because we are using is a bike process so the line is straight right here horizontal line and my dot must remain in that line so given that find the pressure actually if, if I tell you this is pressure and temperature go and find out that point you have that pressure already right here the temperature is about 160 which is about here and well you got the line here just go and find out the value here which is the final enthalpy, something around 540. So, you don't know this right now, just take it as granted, but uh, in this process speci uh, specifically, we're going to see that in the first law, the heat is calculated by changing the entropy here, so the enthalpy. Second enthalpy, or final enthalpy, which is this one, minus initial enthalpy, that will give you the change in enthalpy which is, of course, just the difference in that, 0, 9, 1, 9. And you will have, you already have the heat added, you have the final enthalpy, you have the final temperature, you have the actual pressure, and you know it's a superheated vapor because it's in this region or area. And yeah, essentially it's everything on the exercise, guys. What's up guys, it's me, Chemical Engineering Guy. So if you like the video, why not push the like button? It really helps me to know if you're liking the videos or if I should be changing something or if I should be adding something, taking out its content, whatever. Also, sharing is caring. So if you got any kind of friends, teachers, colleagues or whatever kind of person that might be interested in this type of content, why not share it? Sharing helps our community to grow faster in members and in content. If you want to keep track of my activity, videos, uploads, experiments, playlists, whatever content I'm getting on YouTube, be sure to click the subscribe button. Subscribing to the channel is totally free, guys. My dream is to create an online academy of chemical engineering, where everyone can access it in the world. Imagine a place in which the student, the teacher, and the engineer get the best of each other. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys for the support and the love.